Hi, puppy. Hi, baby girl. Hi. Hi, baby. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Big River County Corso. Here's Oakley. Here's my baby. My pregnant mama. Yeah, he's my pregnant mama. Oakley's got about another oh, three weeks, two and a half weeks left before she uh, gives birth. Um, really feel bad for her right now. Somewhere, somewhere, somehow, she managed to get something that is causing her to itch a lot, thus causing here, her to lose hair on her head because she's itching it so much. So personally I think it's probably like sarcoptic mange or something like that, or sar sarcoptic mites rather. And we can't treat her because she's got about 10 puppies in her belly right now. So, just something we got to deal with, and then as soon as uh, we can, we'll treat her. I just feel bad for her, because our dogs are definitely pets first and foremost, and parts of the family, I guess. So, but she doesn't let it get her down, really. She's got the best spirit out of any dog I've ever around, the best personality. Um, they're just great. So. What are you doing, puppy? Huh? What are you doing? You gotta go potty? Come on, let's go potty. Come on. Oakley, now. My girl, Oakley, is... Uh, almost three years old, and she's having her first litter of pups, due September 30th. Um, you can see now, her belly's starting to drop a little bit. Huh? It's starting to drop, huh? Oh, yeah. In our house, we got Oakley, of course, the County Corso. We got Boots, Pitbull, and... Bozer! Bo! Oh, <laughs> Little guy, Chihuahua, leader of the pack. Isn't that right, buddy? He's the old man out of the group. He's uh, 13, I think Aaron said. Um, at my dad's house, we we bought a stud dog that we didn't use this go round. Um, because he was just just too young, and we didn't have his hips and health check done yet. But the next go round, we will be using him. We're also planning on getting another female to add to our pack. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. Anyway, here's a picture of Bayou, our stud. We actually used Oakley's, or oh, sorry, we actually used Bayou's dad to stud with Oakley this go round. So it's stupid because if we would have used another dog, we could have kept one of those back to continue breeding that way. But we didn't. So. Anyway, I just want to welcome you guys to Big River County Corso channel, and uh, can't wait to show you guys the puppies. Puppies, huh? Poor girl. Peace out, guys. What is going on, guys? So, for the past three, four days, I have been working very diligently in my shop to get it ready 
for puppies. Right over there, I am going to build Oakley's whelping pin. And I can't let my girl feel like she's being abandoned. So over here, I am putting a couch, got a table, got a TV here and there, and direct TV there. So uh, I fully expect my family and I will be out here almost all night, every night while she is with her puppies, you know, until she's weaned them off, so to speak. So guys, you should have seen this garage. It was packed. Is, uh, I bought the house off my mom after my stepdad passed away and this was my stepdad's shop. Uh, far too small for the type of projects he wanted to do. He built this chopper. Over here, when he was here, there was a four post car lift and he had a 1934 Chevy fiberglass uh, body car up on top of the lift and below it, he had his 1933 original wood frame body Chevy. Uh, you know, he's just a big, big gearhead. Like I said, the chopper, just everything, you know. But he's got all these cool tools that, you know, I got to basically inherit. Sheet metal lift, hydraulic press, small drill press, big drill press, uh, saw, grinder, buffer, all sorts of cool stuff. And, but <laughs> everything was just so damn packed in here and I threw away more stuff than I'm happy about but you know and you as I'm going through this stuff I you know you find treasures I mean like these are brand new headers still in the wrapping you know intake manifold uh, transmission housing like this stuff is worth some money to somebody but I guess the trick is finding who. So, but it's pretty cool. I'm really going to kind of make it more of a man cave than anything. I still want to do some work in here, uh, but I also want it for leisure and fun on this side. But so on this wall, I am going to make it a pallet wood wall where I can hang things like my stepdad's old memorabilia from his cars and things like that, so. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the space where Oakley's gonna be whelping because, you know, it's gonna be her home for six weeks until she uh, weans them off. And then I'm gonna have to get a, a dog kennel up in here too, just to house the puppies for the time being. So, that's it guys. It's uh, Mikasa, and that's my, my Bootsy boy. Inherited, not inherited, but came with the wife and kid, Pitbull. <laughs> He's a good dog most of the time. Um, and a total serious pain in the ass the other time. Like, if there's something he wants his teeth on, he's he gets stupid and just stops listening. But otherwise, he's pretty good. Isn't that right, buddy? All right. All right, guys. Peace. By the way, guys. There's Oakley standing there on the stairs, but she is miserable. She's getting big. It's her first pregnancy. She's got about two weeks left. She is not loving it. She's still a good girl, though, huh? Still my good girl. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Take care.